Hello yogis, welcome to Sarah Yoga. We are doing a very quick neck release today for those of you that spend most of your days or hours on your computer. Maybe you're kind of chained to your desk and you don't really have the opportunity to get up or um, go somewhere where you might have a space to lay down a mat and do a full fledged yoga practice. So this is something you can do every day at your desk. Um, some of this you can even do while you're driving. Just um, be careful to keep your eyes on the road. <laughs> um, and it's a quick, easy neck release. So we'll start here by just taking a couple deep inhales and deep exhales. And again. And now we're going to inhale for five, exhale for 10. Again, inhale for five, exhale for 10. Inhale for five, exhale for 10. Last time, inhale for five, exhale for 10. Nice, and then just let your breath return to normal or however your body wants to breathe. And we'll start here by taking a couple of soft circles with the head and the neck. Roll it all the way through. You can rock back and forth if you find a tight spot. So just give your neck and your head some rolls. Roll it out. See if you can let your jaw hang pretty loose. Oh, you put fake a yawn. Sometimes when you do this, your body will want to yawn. Nice, and then we'll come and take a, a nice uh, tall seat up here. And um, take the left ear over towards the left shoulder. Roll open through the chest. Let your lips part, and on your inhale, let your head fall back. So let your jaw fall back a little. Exhale, let your head drop forward, let your jaw hang down. So you're letting your jaw essentially follow your head. Inhale, head drops back. So staying over to the right side as you do this. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, rock it back. So if your body wants to yawn, mine always wants to yawn when I'm starting to release the jaw, the neck. Let yourself yawn. It's not a bad thing. It's a really just gentle. Just see if you can feel the hinge of your jaw. Falling back and then falling forward. So the mouth is open. And we'll come through center, take it up and over to the other side. Same thing, let your head fall back and then fall down. Forward. Use your inhale to carry you back. And exhale forward. So you're getting not only a release in the jaw, I'm sure you can feel this, this pull on the left 
side of the neck. And the next time we'll let the chin fold down towards the chest. And just take your hands here and clasp them right behind the back of the head. Up here. And then just pull the chin to the chest. Let go of the jaw. And then we'll release the knee ring. Slide your fingers down the side of the head. Just giving yourself a little massage. Find your temples. Roll it out here. And then we'll land the fingertips across the sides of the face and forehead. Using the least amount of effort in the back of the neck. Help your head all the way back up. <sighs> all right, take a nice big breath in. Exhale, release. We're just going to reach up and then bend the elbows and bring the hands to the back of the head and tilt up and over. And then come back up and over. Push your head back. Push your head up with the heels of your hands. And then exhale, just kind of reach all the way out. You can clasp your hands behind your tailbone and just kind of pull down a little bit through the chest. So rub your hands together. <laughs> Create some heat. I'm just going to rest. Feel the palms rest right in that notch where your jaw is. Take a breath in, oh, through the mouth, through your jaw, let go on the exhale again. Oh. One more time. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Take the fingertips and roll out through the the ears a little massage. The jaw line going all the way down to chin so there's all these little muscles that they really dig your fingertips into them to get them to release a little bit <laughs> yes oh we're gonna take the claw fingers and then the thumbs hook around your chin, thumbs come right up underneath, grab the bone, so you're trying to grab the bone. You're gonna pull it down and shake. So if you can't make that noise at work, don't, don't, you don't have to, but if you can. So make sure you're actually grabbing the bone and your jaw is gonna wanna help you move. See if you can only move the jaw with the claws with your fingers. Ugh. Ha! Huh. So I hope this has helped, right? Maybe give yourself one last roll. So if you can stand up, you might want to end by taking a forward fold. Or if you can't stand up, maybe just doing it at your desk, right? So you can just let your elbows come down and let your head drop down. Really releasing through the head and the neck. Give yourself a solid good 10 breaths here. 
You might want to just let your exhales fall right out of the mouth. So you can keep that jaw nice and soft. Really let go of the head out of the neck. Feel your breath up into the back body, the back of the waist, the back of the kidneys. Back of the shoulder blades, you might breathe into the back of the neck. And then to come up, I'll let the arms be nice and under the head, nice and soft. One vertebrae at a time, rolling all the way up. So your head is really light, like it's filled up with helium, but it's just floating. When you're ready to come up, we'll take it one vertebra at a time, nice and slow. The head is really light, it will be the last one to rise up, like it's filled with helium. So stack it right up and over that spine. So when you get up there, feel your nice tall seat. Let some of this go. Take a breath in. <sighs> Exhale. Release. Let it go. So that is my quick and easy neck, shoulder, and jaw release. Perfect for if you've been sitting at a desk or if you're sitting at a desk right now, you can do it at your desk. Thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought. And I will see you next time. Oh. Sarah, yoga. Keep yawning. Keep yawning. It's not a sign of weakness. <laughs> it's your body's way of releasing your jaw. Namaste.